Hey guys, it's Walter from the Watcher Comics series. I want to talk to you a little bit about the power of friendship. So today's Bible study comes from the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 4, verses 9 through 10. Uh, the scripture in point says, Two are better than one, because they have a good reward for their toil. For if they fall, one will lift up his fellow. It's a very, very important verse. I want you to meditate on that. So, today's um, Bible study is centered in around the story of the Lord of the Rings, which is a fictional story, but it has a lot of Christian themes and um, undertones as well as overtones. So, one of the heroes of the Lord of the Rings trilogy is Frodo Baggins. Even though Frodo is a, is a hobbit, he is given a quest that even the bravest and strongest man would not want, to take one ring to the land of Mordor, which is ruled by the evil Lord Sauron, and destroy the ring in the fires of Mount Doom. Initially, Frodo was accompanied on his quest by the Fellowship of the Ring, an allegiance of two men, one a dwarf, an elf, a wizard, and four hobbits, including Frodo. When the Fellowship is broken by an enemy attack, Frodo ends up with just one companion, friend and fellow hobbit Samwise Gamakee. As Frodo and Sam near mortar, Sam becomes psychologically philosophical about their quest and wonders if Frodo will ever be put into songs or tales. He suggests that Frodo and the Ring will be one of everyone's favorite stories starring the most famous set of hobbits. You've left out one of the chief characters, Samwise the Brave, advises Frodo. Frodo wouldn't have gotten far without Sam. Frodo's words prove prophetic. Sam proves himself to be incredibly brave, and because he pr protects and even rescues Frodo, the quest ultimately ends in success. Two have fared better than one could. Their toil and sacrifice bring a great reward to everyone in Middle-earth. When Jesus sent out his twelve disciples in Mark chapter 6, he sent them in pairs, in pairs of two, and even Jesus needed a donkey on which to ride into Jerusalem on Palm Sunday. He sent a pair of disciples. Every step of the way, Jesus taught his followers that two are better than one, even if they are never put into songs or tales. So today, I want to just encourage you guys, if, you, if you've got a friend, if you've got somebody that's been holding you down, that's been helping you out, that's been um, pushing you and, and giving you the strength um, to, to, to get as far as you have, I want to encourage you to keep that person, um, you know, in your life. I, I want you to just to meditate on just, you know, the, the, the times that they've helped you and the times that they've really pushed you and, and got you where you are today. We all need somebody. No man is an island. And um, this story about Frodo and Samwise Gamakey really, really brings that home. It really brings it full circle. I also want to let you know about um, a friend that sticks closer to any brother. There's a scripture in the Bible, um, ironically from the, the same book, and it talks about um, a friend that's closer than any brother, and that's Jesus. And the reason why Jesus is a friend that stick, sticks closer than any brother is because he is, he knows you inside and out. He is, he's with you every step of the way, even when you don't um, show him reverence, even when you drop the ball. I mean, you can be the most irreverent person, um, but Jesus doesn't give up on you, and he is the friend that sticks closer than, closer than any brother. So I want to encourage you today, if you if you don't know Jesus, I just encourage you to just to try him out, to check him out. Um, he is the greatest person that's ever lived. He is um, just an amazing God. He's he is the he's God in flesh, and he is um, just the most compassionate person that you will ever meet. You or I will ever meet. He is that friend that sticks closer to, to, than any brother. And I want to encourage you guys to just to check him out today because he is so great. Uh, that is songs or tales. That's part of our um, Bible study series um, that we do every week on Wednesday. Um, I didn't do it this week because just some stuff came up, but um, this is the makeup day. So this was from Watcher Wednesday. This was our Bible study for the week. We'll be back next week with some, uh, some other tales to tell you. And um, I hope you guys are having a great day.